my brothers and sisters. When we want to explain anything, we have to say it like something else. All good teaching opens up the unknown by starting with what is known. Because to speak about what is strange, we have to begin with what is familiar. And when Jesus speaks about the kingdom of God, he never says what is actually is. Rather, he speaks about what it is like. In today's gospel, Mark tells us he would not speak to them except in parables. But he explained everything to his disciples when they were alone. In the first parable of today's gospel, Jesus compares the kingdom of God to what happens when a seed is sown by a farmer. And uh, as a young boy in my country, the Philippines, I would be fascinated to watch farmers who would just throw the seeds of rice in the cultivated land, and we call that the broadcast method. But today, we have more scientific ways of planting the rice. And once the seed is sown, as the gospel says, the farmer waits for harvest time. The cycle of growth follows its own secret rhythm. How the farmer thinks or worries, maybe, cannot improve the crop by staying awake or even at night and even worrying because the seed is nurtured in its own silence. And just as the harvest comes in its own time, so the kingdom of God will reach its completion in God's appointed time. In the second parable, Jesus compares the kingdom to a mustard seed that grows into the largest shrub so that the birds of the air can shelter in its shades. In the ancient world, the size of the mustard seed was a byword for the smallest and most insignificant thing anyone could imagine. And in Jesus' parable, the contrast is made between the smallest of the seed and the exuberance of its growth. And remarkable beginnings can make for mighty achievements. And when we think of small beginnings of Jesus' ministry in Galilee to the spread of his message throughout the world, we can appreciate the vast growth that has taken place in history. The seed that Jesus planted has indeed grown. 
Who could have guessed in Galilee in the year 27 AD? What would emerge from Jesus' ministry? From small beginnings, that is, the preachings of Jesus, his attention to the afflicted, his unusual company of followers, his quiet transformations, there did indeed arise the greatness of the kingdom of God. And God's work still continues, not only in Christian churches, but even in places unknown and unrecognized by us. At the heart of the familiar, God works in so many ways. His kingdom grows of its own accord. We do not know. And let us rejoice in God's work that his kingdom still attracts and welcome so many different people. And we are part of that kingdom. <laughs>